Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to animate with the voxelized um, duplicator. So here is a couple of animation that I posted on Instagram before. So for example, this uh, human silhouette uh, made of uh, colorful dots or uh, this one over here. So I'm going to show you how to create this one, but the principle is the same. You can apply it on typography animation or any kind of shape that you like. And let's dive in into cavalry. So here I already have our head shape silhouette. So in case you didn't know, you can copy any vector um, layers uh, from Cavalry and post it into Figma or Illustrator, or you can also do the same uh, on the opposite way. So if you have um, some kind of illustration over here, you can just copy it and, and paste it into Cavalry. So let's create our ellipse shape, uh, holding out our option key and set the size to two and add it into a duplicator. Uh, so we're going to have uh, the voxelized type distribution over here. And in case you don't understand what is voxelized and how it works, uh, let's just um, have a quick look over here. So I'm going to add the voxelized deformer. And uh, what happens here is that uh, it converts our shape into a bunch of this, uh, what's called voxels or this sort of like box, uh, little boxes, and we can control the size of them and we can control the spacing between and so basically here it's literally the same thing so we add the, our shape uh, or text or whatever it is into the input shape and it distributes our ellipses um, based on the voxels uh, let's keep it all organized and just for a second I'm going to turn the size a little bit higher and we're going to have a look at the debug information so uh, what's happening here we can see the indices uh, of our duplicator copies and right now we don't have control over the way they are distributed uh, so uh, what we're going to do we're going to add a third uh, distribution and then uh, the next uh, level distribution uh, the input distribution is voxelized uh, so now we can sort our uh, duplicates. Uh, we can uh, sort them vertically, horizontally, distance from center, uh, whatever we like. So I'm going to use the vertical one and uh, turn off the duplicate confirmation and set the size to 17. And now we're going to add the oscillator into the shape scale and set the size from one to six. And right now the shape scale is oscillating between one to six. We also don't need the shape um, stroke anymore. So we're going to turn on the stagger onto three. And now we have this more interesting effect because not the shapes are not all changing the scale at the same time. And I'm going to create the color array Add second color, set our colors to whatever we like, and connect the color array into the ellipse shape to a color. So that's it. That's the setup. It's pretty simple. So it looks exactly the same as it was here. And there's a lot of uh, variations that you can do. Uh, you can change the size of the voxels. Um, you can add some other behaviors into shape position, shape rotation, whatever it is. Uh, or change the um, uh, minimum maximum oscillation or the stagger. We can create uh, a color array from the palette and create something more colorful, or maybe uh, add another shape into our duplicator. So let's say we create a super ellipse and turn on the stroke and connect our super ellipse into the duplicator. So now we have two shapes uh, into our duplicator and they're distributed based on the voxel uh, size. And I'm also going to connect the color array into the stroke color of the super ellipse. So this is how it looks now. So there's a lot you can do. You can also use the same uh, method into the typography. So here I just have a text shape uh, that I added into the duplicator uh, input shape. This is how it looks. Or 
we can create some kind of cool uh, text reveal if we add the follow into the oscillator this is the same thing but now if we animate the oscillator oh sorry if we animate the follow we have the text reveal um, so I hope this was helpful and let me know if you have any questions and hopefully see you soon.